Hello everyone. I hope you're having a fabulous day. As you might guess, I'm going to do a balloon smash. Uh, I'm going to do it a little differently. I'm using an actual latex balloon, which I did blow up small, but I am using it. And I am going to do a puddle pour, but smaller puddles. And I don't have a background down. So I'm trying all sorts of things here. This is an 11 by 14 canvas. I'm using a lot of metallics and color shift. Um, For my background, I am going to start, it's just not usual for me. Oh, let me get some gloves on. I'm going to start with Artist Loft Red Flow Acrylic. It is Valentine's Day coming up. You might not see this video until the second half of Valentine's Day. I might do two videos that day. As you would imagine, like most people, I pre-record my videos unless I go live. And I know someone's having a live that evening and I plan on being with my hubby and having a beautiful dinner so I'm not going live. Artist Off Red Flow Acrylic. This is again on 11 by 14. I will add paint if I need to as I go. On top of that, I'm going in with Deco Art Berry Metallic. I would like to put some yellow in here. It's because it's just so freaking pink and bright and, well not bright, that's, I guess that's my issue. I need bright. I need my oh, cadmium orange. Which I might end up getting out, so we'll see. After that though, I do have um, this uh, blue violet color flash from Color Shift. And you don't want to go with too many paints. Um, these do have treadmill silicone in them, and uh, the artist loft on the bottom does not, because I don't want it to get on the canvas. Otherwise, it will pit. Um, we are going to go in, let me just mix this a little more with some Color Shift Red Flash with, I added, because I thought it was a cool idea, some iridescent medium, not that it really needs it, but I thought it'd be neat. Um, this will dry darker than it's coming out. Which is why I think I'd like something. Well, I'll use some gold probably. Gold, gold, gold. So, let me torch the bubbles. Now, because I fully intend on smashing on the dry canvas, some of this should come out sort of like fireworks, which I'm curious about. I am going to put a little gold on top. And then we'll get smashing. And as you can see, I have my latex balloon. I did, I'm going to try it with latex instead of my usual water balloons, so we'll see. It is blown up small though. I can push down harder. I do like the colors. It's very nice. I'm going to pick up some more color. Go over here. My only thing about this, and that's because I've done this with an 8x10 with no background, is that 
You just have to make sure you cover the whole thing. Ooh, that's pretty. Look at that balloon. Very pretty. And yes, the balloons can be pretty and the canvas at the same time. I've had people say, oh, the balloon was pretty, but the canvas was not. Well, that's your opinion. Which you're entitled to. But I'm going to smash her around. Start over here. Again, I'm going to go off the sides so that I can get them covered. I think even if you have enough painting on the canvas, it does not matter if you don't put a background on. Typically, I put a background that I want to pull up, like if it's white or black, usually white. But typically, I have it there because I want to pull it up on the canvas. I have reasons to my madness. I know everybody's loving the balloon smashes. I'm getting kind of over them myself. But that's just because I started them in January and we're almost at March. So, while they will remain in my repertoire, I am going to be doing some other types of art coming up. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel and you like to watch these type of videos, please do. I try to upload at least three to four times a week. There's many new artists out there, or new, oh, I just got to show you every time, it's just beautiful. New to Flow Acrylics, which I'm happy to answer any questions you may leave in the comments, or you can email me at dianegideonart at gmail.com. I love all the orange in there, look at that. So... I do have some puddles, as I will call them here, because I still did do a puddle pour. I just did not cover my background. I am going to cover my sides. Do you need to wipe it off? It's looking like mud. So for those of you that want to know technique, let me know. A lot of times, if I can get one of these done fairly quickly, I'll put it to music so you don't have to listen to me talk. Mostly about nothing important. I really like the way this is currently looking on top. I think I'm going to go down my sides. So I'm going to hold it like this and just go down the sides sure I get everything covered and I'm sure I will dip back up top here one more time at least because it looks like we got a good amount of paint here and then I'm gonna go down this side so if you want to use a dry canvas for a balloon smash absolutely if you don't put enough paint on or you don't use the puddle technique that I prefer, you might get things that look like fireworks, which are also very pretty. Mine, in the end, tend to generally look like flowers, if I get what I'm going for, which when you do a puddle pour, most of the time you do. At least I do. these colors I wanted to get used up and I still might have to do another little canvas. I think that's alright. Oh, I think this is going to be beautiful when dried. I just love the gold. Maybe may be hard to see. I don't have it in the camera right now, but as soon as I finish this other side I will. 
Um, the gold is just beautiful. Put it down once and wipe off my balloon. Once your balloon starts getting muddy, you need to wipe it off. And they come clean very pretty easily. I mean, I can also use the other side, which I have not used yet. I'm just trying to see where I want to look from. Some beautiful cell action going on. That's pretty. I'm going to take some off down here and in the corner. Oops. In the corner here. And here, where it looks like it's missing a little paint. That's the one thing when you don't have a background, you gotta just make sure you get everything, like I said. And just remember, whatever colors you, you work with, they are going to get darker as they dry. So, let me see where I want to pull from for this one side I need to do yet. I'm looking. I like it all. I like it all very much. Oh, this is so hard. Alright, I'm going to pull from here. Which is just a little bit, but I'm also going to put that right there. I feel like there's not enough paint in that corner. And then it's the last side. So I will hold it by the bottom as to not get any paint on there. And we will go down the sides. And you can usually get a full side a full sides covering out of this. And remember, it's a piece of art. It doesn't need to be perfect. I'm a type A personality though, so I like to do the best I can. Which really is not good for artists. <laughs> I think most artists are type B personalities. And while I can be that person, and just generally not a follower, I like to lead. Lead by example. husband. He likes to follow. Which works out well for us. Although he is so freaking intelligent that it just annoys me to death sometimes. You just can't argue with when someone's right. Alright, let me make sure I have this in the camera so you can see how that came out. It's beautiful. If I do say so myself, it is beautiful. Another, I love all this. It's the purple flash. That's what it is in there. I just love it. And so when it dries, it's going to change colors. I mean, it's going to be purple, but and when you, when you tilt it, it's going to turn another color. You just zoom you in so you can see some of it. Do you think that is so pretty? So thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. Please click the bell so you can be notified of when I upload a video. And go ahead and smash that like button for me. As well as share my paintings and my YouTube channel and let people know that they too can do acrylic pouring and painting if they like. Hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching.